Good morning, readers. Hi, I'm Miss Sally again, and I'm here to share a story with you. And I'm excited to be here, and I miss you. If I have been seeing you in your classrooms, I miss coming to see you now. Today, I'm going to be sharing one of my favorite books. It's called The Little Red Hen Makes a Pizza. And if you've ever heard The Little Red Hen Story, it's a story based off of those popular stories. And the Little Red Hen story is a folk tale. That means it's a to story told over and over again, many times and in many different ways. And so this author, Phil Sturges, Sturges, excuse me, decided to make his own version. And this version is The Little Red Hen Makes a Pizza. And I really love it. And today when we're reading, we're gonna think about the characters in the story. The people, the animals, or the things in the story that are speaking. Those are the characters in the story. Sometimes it can be animals, it can be people, it can be even things like a book or a pencil that talks and acts like people do. So we're going to be on the lookout for characters and we're going to be on the lookout for the main character. The main character is the character who the story is written about. The main character is usually involved in the problem and the solution. So we're going to be looking for the main character, seeing if we can figure out who that is. And while we're reading, there's a couple juicy words I want us to be on the lookout for. The first one is the word rummaged. And rummaged means I search through things and I look around and I try to find something. So that's why I have this person with their magnifying glass. But if you're rummaging through, you might be scurrying around trying to find something, maybe in a drawer or in a closet, so you rummage through your closet to find your coat. The other word I want us to be on the lookout for is the word fetch. Now you've probably heard fetch when you think about your dog going to get their ball or their toy, but this fetch means I, I get something and I can be a person doing that. I might fetch my groceries from the grocery store. I might fetch the box from the delivery person. So fetch, we're gonna be on the lookout for those words. If you hear those words, you can give me a thumbs up. So today we're going to read The Little Red Hen and we're going to be looking for the characters in the story and in particular figuring out who the main character is in the story. So I'm going to start reading The Little Red Hen Makes a Pizza, written, retold by Philemon Sturges, illustrated by Amy Walford. The Little Red Hen Makes a Pizza. There's the title page. And it's dedicated to the ducks and the cats, the furry dogs, and especially to the beautiful red hen at Studio Goodwin Sturges. That might be his wife or something. All right, so I'm going to start reading. The little red hen had eaten the last slice of her tasty loaf of bread. She sipped a cup of chickweed tea and taken her nap. Now she was hungry again, so she scratched through her cupboard and spied a can of tomato sauce. Why don't I make a lovely pizza? She said to herself. She rummaged through her pan drawer. There were bread pans, cake pans, muffin pans, frying pans, all kinds of pans. But not one single pan was large, round, and flat. Clop! She said, I need a pizza pan. She stuck her head out the window. Good morning, she called. Does anybody have a pizza pan? Guess what? Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the cat. Wow, I'm going to stop here. I'm thinking about the characters. I see some animals talking. So there are animals that are the characters. I see, who's this? The little red hen. I see the duck. And I see the dog. And I see the cat. So, so far in the story, those are the characters. Now I got to figure out who the main character is. Who is the story all about? And maybe they're involved in the problem in the story. What goes wrong? The oops in the story. Very well, then I'll fetch one myself, said the little red hen. So she went to her hardware store. She bought a pizza pan, a large mixing bowl, a pizza slicer, and some other stuff. 
When she got home, she opened the cupboard. She saw some beans and rice, sugar and spices, jars of jam, and even pickled eggplant, but no flour. And, oh, and she had some jars of honey, and not even any eggplant, but no flour. Cluck, she said to herself, I need flour. So we still have our character. It's important to know who those characters are so I can understand the story. If I don't know who the characters are, I'm not going to understand the story at all. She stuck her head out the window. Hello, she said. Who will run to the store and fetch some flour for me? <gasps> Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Very well then, I'll fetch some myself, said the little red hen. So she went to the supermarket. She bought some flour, some salt, some oil, and some other stuff. When she got home, she opened the fridge. Cluck, she said to herself. There's cream cheese, blue cheese, string cheese, and Swiss cheese, but no mozzarella. Still, we have our hen, the main character, the little red hen. I think she's the main character. Do you know why I think that? I think she's the main character because she seems to have a little problem here. Hmm. Her problem is every time she goes in the fridge, she looks for something, she can't find it. And then she goes to ask her friends, and what do they say? Yeah, they say not I. So she's kind of involved with the problem here. It's, she's featured on every page. I'm thinking she's the main character. She stuck her head out the window. Excuse me, she said. Who will go to the store and buy some mozzarella? Mm, not I, said the duck. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the cat. Very well, then I'll fetch some myself, said the little red hen. There's that word again, fetch. No one wants to fetch anything for her. So the little red hen went to the delicatessen. She bought some mozzarella, pepperoni, and olives, some mushroom, onions, and garlic, and a can of eight small anchovies, and some other stuff, but no pickled eggplant. When she got home, the little red hen, hen put on her apron and stuck her head out the window. Good afternoon, she said. Who will help me make some pizza dough? What do you think they said? Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the cat. Very well, then. I'll, I'll make it myself, said the little red hen. So she put the flour and some other stuff into her mixing bowl. And she stirred and mixed and mixed and kneaded and kneaded and pounded until she had a big ball of pizza dough. After the dough rose, the little red hen rolled it flat and folded it and rolled it again and spun it around her head several times. When the dough was just right, she tossed it way up in the air one last time for good luck and put it in her pizza pan. Do you still think she's the main character? Is this the story that is the story mostly about her? Is she the one that's involved with the problem and the solution? She's kind of solving her own problem, right? All the animals don't want to, all her friend animals don't want to help her. So she just does it herself. Then she stuck her head out the window. Excuse me, she said, who will make the topping? Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Very well then, I'll make it myself, said the little red hen. They're so busy playing in the puddles and in the rain that they just, or not in the puddles and not the rain, in the fire hydrant. <laughs> they don't have time to help her.
So she chopped and grated and grated and sliced. Next, she opened the can of tomato sauce and spread it all over the pizza dough. On top of that, she put some grated mozzarella, some sliced pepperoni, some chopped olives, some mushrooms, some onions and garlic, eight small anchovies, and some other stuff, but no pickled eggplant. The little red hen looked at the pizza. It looked just right. She put it in the oven and sat down to sip a cup of chickweed tea. Pretty soon, a delicious smell drifted from the oven. It filled the room and floated out the window. My lovely little pizza must be ready, she thought. It was lovely, but it was not little. So she stuck her head out the window. Good evening, she said. Who would like some pizza? What do you think they said? Can you guess what the duck said? Can you guess what the dog said? Can you guess what the cat said? They all said yes, of course. But the cat scraped most of the topping of his share off. When the pizza was all gone, the little red hen made herself another cup of chickweed tea. Then she asked, who will help me do the dishes? Now, can you guess what the duck and the dog and the cat said? Do you think they're gonna help? Do you think the other characters in the story, the cat, the dog and the duck are going to help? Based on the other parts of the story, it's not looking good, but they each said, I will. Look, they're helping. Wow, that hen is sure nice for letting them have her pizza. And I guess they thought, I'm going to be helpful too. And they did. Cling, 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 cling. So, the characters in the story. How many of you can remember some of the characters in the story? Think to yourself, tell your mom, your dad, tell yourself, who are the characters in the story? Did you say the little red hen? Yes. Did you say the cat? Yes. Did you say the dog? Did you say the duck? Yes. Did someone say the person at the delicatessen? Some people might have said that, but that's a character in the story. That's a character in the story too. But our main character, who's the story mostly about? Who's the problem around and the solution sort of focused around? The little red hen, that's right, the little red hen is the main character in the story. And being able to identify the characters in, in the story is really important because without knowing who the characters are and what's going on with them, then the whole, what's the point of the story, right? We have to watch and find out who the characters are so we can understand what's going on. So when you're reading a book, think about who the characters are and think about who the main character is because that's when we'll kind of figure out where is the story gonna go? What's gonna be the problem? What's gonna be the solution? I hope you liked my story, The Little Red Hen. I enjoyed reading it to you. Thank you.